Welcome to Credit Matters TV. Today I have with me David Anthony. David, you recently published a report on mm -hmm. Saudi insurance. Um, in a nutshell, how do you see the market today? It's a big nutshell, uh, Saudi Arabia. It's, uh, it's uh, a little bit troubled. Uh, there was a price war w raging, as we say in the report published uh, during 2012-2013. But at the end of last year, as you're aware, uh, the regulator, Sama, uh, sort of stepped in, in effect, by asking the consulting actuaries within the profession, and every insurer in Saudi Arabia must use the services of a consulting actuary. The regulator asked the consulting actuaries to be particularly prudent in the year-end uh, calculation of reserves and liabilities. And this actually put the overall market into substantial loss. I think the, the, over, the, the, the whole sector, 34 companies in, in, in Saudi Arabia, uh, reported losses about 1.2 billion Saudi rials mm. uh, on 25 billion of gross premiums, uh, which was a bit of a shock. During the course of 2014, though, the ongoing uh, actuarial influence over pricing and reserving has, in effect, started to turn around the price war. So we've seen during the course of this year, on average, uh, about 20% increases in uh, premium rates. However, that said, th the market is a little skewed. It's 50% of the total premium in the marketplace is medical, group medical. Another 25% is motor. So it's basically the, these two lines of medical and motor which dominate the sector. And so it's on motor and medical that we've seen these price rises. So you've seen a strong improvement in the market. Mm -hmm. Do you see that continuing into the future? Yes. Again, with the assistance of the regulator, Sama, uh, two things have been done. A, so the regulator is continuing to encourage and oblige licensed uh, consulting actuaries to uh, ensure prudence in the reserving and the pricing of business in Saudi Arabia at the companies they work for. But also, as a new requirement, it was something which perhaps take for granted in uh, Western markets, is that for the first time now, any uh, large corporate account transferring from one insurer to another must bring with it its claims history from the past. Uh, okay. And this is new. So that will allow new insurance companies to properly price the business based on the, the track record of performance and losses of the, the company. Till this year, that, that information has not been available. Therefore, rates became very soft and some so, so substantial losses were being incurred. So again, with this actuarial pricing based on proper actuarial loss data, those two effects together should perhaps do the trick in slowly turning around the, the, the price war and bringing the market to reasonable profitability. So the, the market's gone through a difficult mm -hmm. time. What's been the implication for this for ratings? Clearly, we were watching the market quite closely during the time of the, the, the price war, particularly in 2013. But I think we, did, we could see that the, the regulator was insistent upon a turnaround of uh, market pricing and saying eventually they've been successful in achieving that. And because our analysis is forward-looking, it means we've been offsetting the, the, the poor results, frankly, that were reported in 2013. We've been offsetting those losses, effectively, with our expectation of much stronger results for mm -hmm. 2014, 2015, 2016. So in practice, our ratings have stayed relatively stable. In fact, there have been no rating actions, although the outlook on a couple of companies has changed. However, where those outlooks have changed, that has been largely due to company-specific factors, not market-wide factors. Okay. So for the market itself, we remain fairly bullish. There's compound annual growth in, uh, in premiums in Saudi Arabia, about 15% per annum over the last five years. The market grew 19% last year, 2013, despite the price war. We expect similar growth this year and next. There's more insurable activity. The population is growing, and the baby boomers in Saudi Arabia of the 80s and the 90s are now growing up buying apartments, buying cars, buying insurance. Mm -hmm. Th there's infrastructure spending by government. So net-net, I suppose, yeah, we're fairly optimistic for the marketplace, and so our r ratings remain stable. And all of that prospective profitability in the markets is factored into our analysis today. OK. Thank you, David. My pleasure. And thank you for watching Credit Matters Television. Thank you.